Dear Brian and Cyan, I grew up in Watts, in the inner city, surrounded by gangs and drugs. Some bad things happened to me there, but everything I experienced, I learned from, and it made me tougher. My mom raised eight of us kids by herself, and she worked hard. It seemed like she worked for 24 hours when I was young. I slept in a bed with three other siblings. We never really knew if we were gonna have a full meal each day. Before he left, my father beat me. He beat me a lot. After he left, I was molested by another man. Those things hurt me. For a long time, they hurt me. But I had too much to accomplish to let that decide who I am. When I started playing basketball, the boys wouldn't let me play. I had to get my brother to come to the playground and then pick me on his team in order to play. That just made me tougher because I grew up with those guys telling me, you got to deal with this stuff if you want to play. But I knew I had to work hard because I saw my mother work so hard for all of her kids. She was a leader and she taught me how to lead and not settle for less. She taught me if I work hard, good things will happen. I don't want you to think that I had some unique journey. I'm not a unique person. My journey is everyone's journey. Everybody has obstacles. It's how you approach those obstacles that help to form your character and it helps to build you up. You don't have to be me. I want you to be the best version of you you can be. Whatever you choose to do, I hope you realize that there's no better feeling than achieving goals you set for yourself. You know, my mom didn't really get to see most of my professional career. I played so much overseas and not long after the WNBA started in 1997, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. The first two championships we won with the Houston Comets, the ones she was alive for, my mom would go, look at you, look at you. And I would go, yeah, look at me. We're champions. And we would laugh and really have a great time. We were able to see together with all of our work, hers and mine, and all of our perseverance that we could enjoy success. If anything, I hope my life can show you how commitment and respect is the fuel for love. If you have those two things, you will have success. Love, Mom.